from the creators of masterpieces of the modern cinema, like how to repair a bicycle or tips to make sports. We bring to you the new incredible book adaptation of Three Lucky Numbers. This way of making money is so easy. I can't believe that they think that I fell in love with them. I feel sad for especially the reason that they were completely alone, especially for this one Mary. I'm going to call the cops and tell them of the little accident to finally get my money. Who is that? Her brother? Dorothy said that was alone in the world. I hope he doesn't cause me any trouble. This guy makes me many troubles, but finally got the money. He makes many questions of this, and they didn't catch me. But I have to admit, I made a big mistake calling the cops so early. It was very dumb, and the reporter was very annoying, but it didn't pass the mayor. Now I'm going to the north for the third one. I hope she got a lot of money. Whoa, she's the perfect subject. I am going to wait until after dinner. Hi, how are you? Hi. Whoa, she is really difficult to get a conversation with. I think that I have a great opportunity. If I should call you up, invest a dime, and you say you belong to me, lose my mind. Imagine how the world could be so very fine, so happy together. There is something that I want to tell you. What? I used to be a school teacher for 10 years. But one day to another, my dad got sick. So I put the work aside and I decided to take care of him until he died. Now I am 33 and I am very rich. But the problem is that I don't know where to spend the money. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that. <laughs> Are you excited about going to a new town? Yes, the wedding was so special. I want to go there just now. She has been acting strange in the last days, but I think it doesn't matter. The plan is going well. Okay, so let's go. Hey sweetie, I'm going to do something in the bathroom. Again? Okay, I hope it works. Now it's time to finish the boostment. It's time, it's finally ready.
Hey, sweet, the van is ready. Go upstairs and get in so we can go out later. Honey, where are you? Honey! Oh, it smells so good. I will go upstairs immediately. Yes, go to the bath. Meanwhile, I am going to change my clothes. I will give you 10 minutes. No problem. Honey, how is the bath? I don't know yet. I'm going in. Hmm, I suspect it. He's trying to kill me. With the changes I made before, if I move this, this and this, the electricity will kill her meanwhile she is in the bathroom. Honey, is all okay? So, now I may not call the cops as early as last time and I will have no problems. Oh, this is a difficult luck. Finally, but what is this? Where is the money? Why did she take the money from the bank? Oh, this is a letter. Dear Ronald, if you ever get this, I'm afraid it will prove dreadful shock to you. For a long time, I have been hoping that it might not be necessary to write it. But now your behavior has forced me to face some very unpleasant possibilities. I am afraid, Ronald, that in some ways you are very old-fashioned. Had it not occurred to you that any homely middle-aged woman who has been swept into a hasty marriage to a stranger must, unless she's a perfect idiot, be just a little suspicious and touchy on the subject of that? Your predecessor and Joseph Smith and his breeds are not entirely forgotten, you know, frankly. I did not want to suspect you. For a long time I thought I was in love with you. But when you prefer me to make my will on your wedding day, I could not help wondering. And then as soon as you started fussing about the bathroom in this house, I thought I had better do something about it rather quickly. I'm old fashioned too, so I went to the police. Hey, the cops! Where to get in? She's the perfect subject. Hey, the cops, do it with your